Hello everyone, welcome back. I'm Dr. Ray and today we're gonna to be talking about antihistamines. So antihistamines, we get asked about that a lot in our practice and that makes sense because they're over the counter, uh, they're readily available. And you know, the common questions are, can you give them to dogs? Should you give them to dogs? When would you give them to dogs? And how much do you give? And so we're gonna talk about that today. So let's start out at the beginning. What is Benadryl? What is Benadryl? Benadryl is the brand name for the chemical compound diphenhydramine. And diphenhydramine is from a class of chemicals called antihistamines. And so anti is against histamine. So it is a drug that blocks or stops the production of histamine. Histamine is a naturally occurring substance that the body produces, the cells produce it, in response to a noxious stimuli from the external environment. And so it is a naturally occurring process. Um, and the problem is when the body produces too much histamine. So a little bit too much histamine is what we would call an allergy or an allergic reaction. Way too much production of histamine inappropriately would be what we call anaphylaxis. So can you give Benadryl to dogs? Yes, you can. And there's a couple times where we would use it in our practice and a couple times that you might be able to use it in your everyday life. Should you put Benadryl in your emergency kit for your pet? And here are a couple um, instances where I think Benadryl could be useful. So the first is obviously an anaphylactic uh, reaction. Very rarely uh, will we see some sort of an anaphylactic reaction or an allergic reaction to vaccines. This is usually manifested facial swelling or hives. You guys will call us and we'll say, you know, bring your pet back in and we will give them an injection of an antihistamine. Um, in general, we're not going to recommend an oral antihistamine in this case because it takes too long for that to absorb. And so we will recommend you bring them in and we will go ahead and give them an injection. The other type of time that I would give an antihistamine, and I would ask you guys to give this at home, is if your pet has been diagnosed with a mast cell tumor. And so this is a common tumor in dogs, it's a skin tumor, and this tumor actually produces histamine. And so if these tumors that produce histamine are disturbed or bumped, there's a chance that that histamine will get released and cause an issue in your pet similar to an anaphylactic response. And so we will have you guys give Benadryl on a daily basis to prevent that. Now, we get asked probably daily, maybe weekly, about Benadryl for allergies, routine allergies, hay fever, itchy skin, that kind of thing. And the answer is yes, you can, but in certain sit situations only. And so uh, we have known probably for about 10 years in veterinary medicine that antihistamines probably aren't the best for itchy skin. And this is the reason why. Um, antihistamines are blockers of histamine. And so they do a really good job of blocking histamine before it gets to the cell. And so if you give Benadryl before your pet has an allergy, so before the season starts, before the itching starts, before the lesion starts, then yes, you can use Benadryl and it will work. Um, it may not work the best. So recent studies show, you know, maybe somewhere between six to eight to maybe only 25% efficacy of oral antihistamines for atopic or allergic dermatitis. And so, you know, it's probably not the best thing out there, but in a pinch, you know, if you need to and you start it before the itching starts, then yes, you can give Benadryl to dogs for allergies. Um, there are other classes of drugs that are not antihistamines that we most commonly will reach for now in veterinary medicine. And these are the type of drugs that will work when the pet is already in the midst of an allergy. So they've already got the red spots or they already are itchy. Um, and these medications actually will target the, you know, the nerve portion of the cells or what we call the Janus kinase receptors. They actually will block that. And so they can stop itching once the itching has already started. So once the histamine has made it to the cell and has started the itching, you know, we would more commonly use these medications 
um, over antihistamines. But you can use them, um, but you want to use them before the itching has started. That's going to give you your most benefit. If you give them after the itching has already started, you're not going to do anything because the histamine has already made it to the cell, has already started the inflammation, and, and, and Benadryl is not an anti-inflammatory. Um, it's a histamine blocker. So we need to block it before it makes it to the cell. Any of you that have been here for a length of time know that I love to play devil's advocate. And so antihistamines, great. Benadryl, great. Very little side effects usually aren't going to cause any problem. And so we think, no big deal. You know, I'll give it. It's not going to hurt. Maybe it'll help. But I will tell you, um, it's very important that if you think your pet is having a reaction to something um, or is having an allergy, that you give the Benadryl and then you call your vet and you get in and you get an appointment. The reason being is the little bit of a beef I have with Benadryl is that sometimes we will give the Benadryl for too long for a situation maybe that is not appropriate. And so Benadryl in a lot of situations can delay treatment. And so I have a couple examples because I don't want you guys to fall into these pitfalls um, and then end up beating yourself up about it later. And so one of the common things that we'll see that people will give Benadryl for inappropriately is a swelling underneath the eye. So maybe you have a pet that looks like this or this or this. And so it makes sense. You see that and you think, my pet got bit by something. They got stung by a bee. They got stung by a wasp. They're having, they're having a reaction. They have a big swelling under their eye. And so, you know, you give Benadryl. You give it for a few days and, um, you know, nothing's happening. And so now three days, four days, five days, maybe a week has gone by and your pet still has this really big swelling under the eye. The reason is, is that's not a bee sting or an allergic reaction. Um, that's actually most commonly a tooth root abscess. If you've ever had an abscess tooth before, um, you know that there's no amount of an antihistamine that's probably going to help that. And so um, if you find yourself in that situation and you want to give a Benadryl, give it and then call your vet right away and get in and have that looked at. The other thing that we'll see Benadryl used for very commonly, and this kind of circles back to what we were talking about, allergies, is bumps on the skin. And so a lot of people will see bumps on the skin and they'll think, my pet got into ants. You know, they got into ants and the ants bit them and now they have all of these uh, bumps on their skin and so they're having a reaction to the ant bites. Let me go ahead and give Benadryl to, you know, to help with that. And so we kind of already talked about why you can't give Benadryl after the reaction has already happened, but not everybody knows that. You guys know that now. Um, but the important thing to note here is these bumps are probably not ant bites. Um, these bumps are actually a staph infection. And so again, no amount of Benadryl is probably going to solve a staph infection. You know, they need to get in, they need to get to antibiotics, they need to get treated for that. And so I don't like Benadryl. Benadryl or, you know, I, I give Benadryl a little bit of a thumbs down when it delays treatment for you guys. And so the moral of the story is, yes, indeed, you can give your dog Benadryl. And for you cat lovers out there, um, I know I didn't speak about cats. And the reason is that um, cats really hate it. And if you give liquid Benadryl to a cat, they will foam at the mouth and look rabid. They are not rabid. Um, they just don't like the taste. And so I am not even broaching the subject on cats. We're talking about dogs here. So, yes, you can give Benadryl to dogs. Um, Benadryl comes in a 25 milligram tablet or caplet usually. And the dose for dogs is one to two milligrams per pound every eight hours. And so the other little bit of information that I offer you guys is if you find yourself in a situation where you think you need to give an antihistamine or Benadryl, make sure you give the right dose. And so the dose of Benadryl for dogs is way higher than in humans. And so that means one to two milligrams per pound means if you have a 50 pound dog, you're gonna have to give 50 to 100 milligrams every eight hours for it to have an effect. And so, you know, that's gonna be two to four adult tablets. Now, if I took two to four Benadryls, I'd be, 
you know, I'd be sleeping all day. But you're not going to even notice sleepiness in your dog, most likely, with this dosing. And anything under that is probably going to be ineffective. So if you are going to give Benadryl, please, please, please give the appropriate dose. Or, again, you're not really doing anything. You're not going to see an effect. Um, and, you know, we don't want to delay treatment or give a subtherapeutic dose because then we're not achieving what we want anyway. So that is, you know, the answers to all your questions, Benadryl, um, maybe. If you have any more questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Uh, if you have questions about anything else veterinary, so if you have questions about certain medications, heartworm prevention maybe, flea prevention, certain conditions, um, you know, are you concerned about diabetes? Do you guys want to learn more about that? Leave me a comment because I want to do more on this channel than just talk about food. I like to talk about food, but I think there's a lot more questions that you guys have that I would rather you um, you know, I would rather give you the information than go on Google and get some maybe information that's not correct or maybe information that's old and not up to date. And so, you know, leave me a comment. I'd love to answer those questions. Now, if your pet is actually having a reaction or is ill, don't wait for me. Don't wait for anybody. Just, you know, call your vet immediately and get that looked at. But, you know, if it's just a general question, you guys want to learn something, I would be happy to answer it for you. And I try to do that pretty regularly. So I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you learned something. And um, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.